Hello and welcome everyone to the next episode on SAP Business Technology Platform Training with me and Anubhav. In this episode, we are going to talk about how to test our service which was created in our past episode. If you've not seen my previous video, please check the description of the current video to find the link. So by far in this demo series, we have created a simple database table. Enhance that with the aspect we have created an OData service of V4 in cloud and then now we are going to test the service performing get and post operation. So let me switch over to the system. So now we cannot use at the moment Postman tool to test our service and that's the reason I'm going to create a special file as part of my service folder to test my service. You can see right now I can perform the get operation in the browser but to perform a post request I have to create also a special file which tests the requests. So let's go ahead and create a new file and I will say test service dot HTTP and now here we are going to write our request. For example I would like to perform a get request so let's write get and we are going to use the URL appended with the service endpoint along with the entity set name for example order set. You can use control space yes or you can type also. So now this is a simple get request and I will perform this get to load all the data. Okay, so it says that this is a singleton. Let me just go ahead and put a top to test the request. So I will go back and put question mark dollar top equals to two records I would like to read and I will go ahead and perform this. So let me save the file first and I'm also just kind of having this one S extras which I'll remove and let me save. Let's send the request and there you go we can get the response for our get request over here. So it's getting precisely two records. You can also test a record with like a filter condition also. For example, M% dollar filter where my order amount or the cross amount is perhaps uh, less than. So I can say cross amount is the less than equals to 5000 or 2000. Let's go ahead and test this request. So I'll send and right now I don't have any order which is less than 2000. So perhaps let's get something which is below 5000. And now you can see 4027 and 4608. So this way you can quickly test your request. Let me add another request which is going to be a post request. So I will perform a post request now on my same entity set order set and this time I will say content type is going to be application JSON which I want to post and let me grab a record uh, perhaps to test that from my output and I would like to create a new sales order. So I will go inside and maybe to just do a little quick I will create a stringify JSON where x equals to this data And I'm going to do JSON dot stringify of X to get my payload ready. Let's grab the payload and close paste the payload over here. And this is my payload to create a new record. So let's enter the values here. I will want to change 7001 Anubhav. I can say. Anubo Oberoi and I can say Anubo Trainings and we'll see 4000 euros. Okay, so let's send the request and voila, you can see my post is successful and now I have got data posted to my uh, database table. If you go back to the SQL console, you can also see this data will be available in your SQLite DB. So this is exactly how we can perform and test the request which are of post request. 
If you are interested to learn complete cloud application programming model with SAP Cloud Platform, feel free to subscribe our training on anubhavtrainings.com. With that, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next episode.